Today we're watching cows. <laughs> Which cows are you watching? We're watching my dad's cow and my dear's cow. Which is your dad's cow? The blue cow. And which is Theo's cow? The dear's cow is the gay one. Yeah, guys. Like my godson said, today we're gonna be washing the cars, but we're also gonna be uh, finishing off my brother's valve cover. We're gonna paint their wrinkle black. Got my brother here. And, but first, it's super hot in New York today. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna wash the cars first. We got, uh, let, let me show you the little setup we got going on here. Over here we got the Chemical Guy stripper scent. We got our bucket, we got our short uh, pressure washer gun, pressure washer, we got the Flexilla hose, uh, Diablo wheel cleaner, and we got the expensive foam gun. We got it over here. And we got it down to the, um, to get these to foam up crazy, you have to have like a 1.1 um, orifice valve so we switch this up so we're expecting to get some some serious foamage so is the, is the, PF the foam cannon we are using is the pf 22.2 foam cannon kit which you can get on amazon for Hi. 90 dollars plus tax so still our first time using it so it's like a review at the same time but the reviews that i have seen before is that it's way better than chemical guys foam cannon that we have over there but we're gonna put it to the test all right guys so we're gonna test out the the foam cannon now As you can see, the foam is crazy on this thing. Look at this. And obviously our favorite soap is uh, Mr. Pink. But, you know, we don't, uh, we ran out, so. Now we're rinsing off. Foam cannon did amazing. So yeah guys, wiping down the car. As you can see, the foam coverage was amazing. The car looks great clean. It definitely deserves a car wash. And we can't be happy with a little at home setup. So I've been using uh, this waterless wax uh, car wash from uh, Chemical Guys. They have the the one that's already ready to use or the one that you could dilute to make uh, more bottles out of it it comes with a spray wax that's what i've been using before i started doing the car washes and i can see it was doing a good job also my favorite uh wax spray wax that i want to probably check if i have downstairs is the butter wet wax from chemical guys and uh in a more cooler day or time we have more day more time maybe it'll start earlier we're gonna buff it clay bar it, jet seal it to try to protect the paint more. So yeah guys, we got my brother's hatch clean. We got a special guest here, my cousin Tony, my brother. We are about to do my coop. And uh, we just cleaned my cousin's car. Came out super, super clean. Look at that thing. 
beautiful. Came out clean, clean. So now we're gonna we're gonna switch up the soap mix. We got almost like I would say 80% soap now. So hopefully we get more um more foam. Oh yeah. We got some serious foam now, guys. See this foam is thick, thick foam. This is what you're looking for. That's some serious foam, guys. Serious foam. Guys, it's time for the rinse. Beyond happy with this foam cannon, with our whole setup. Can't complain at all. Look at the ground. How much foam we got on there. So yeah guys, this is the after. Completely dry. I mean, this has got to be the cleanest this coop's ever been. The, foam, the home setup worked perfect. So yeah, as you can see, we did my wife's car today. Uh, right now, I'm cleaning the trim. Black on black, careful guys. Before, after. Before, after. So you just uh, take it, spray some. You could spray directly, but you don't want it to hit your paint. You just go nice and smooth. Try to buff it in. Try not to hit the paint. You can see it's bringing the trim back to life and that's it I already did this whole side I'm gonna work I'm working my way this way all right guys so it's time to get to the meat and potatoes of the video we got to paint this valve cover so we're gonna do a primer then wrinkle black and we're gonna use a Milwaukee heat gun to get that wrinkle effect so yeah guys we have the first uh, layer gonna make sure we get even primer so we get good coverage guys so we're gonna start the the wrinkle black process where we're using VHD wrinkle plus his uh, SP 201 black wrinkle so we got to do a horizontal then vertical then across so let's start the first horizontal one This is an old can my brother has, and it's not really spraying evenly. I hope that the finished product comes out good because all right guys, we got here the Milwaukee uh, heat gun. Uh, we're attacking it, you know, at the same time. I'm using the Milwaukee, he's using the hairdryer. 
and as you can see we're getting that wrinkle it takes time you got to be patient but it works you can see all the wrinkle coming out it's coming out great You can really, really see it now, look. And we got the same results with the hair dryer. With, uh, and we also use the super expensive Milwaukee heat gun. I'm not saying they're the same, but for, for this DIY uh, project, you can get some, get, get some good results with the hair dryer. Look, at, this is my end with the Milwaukee and that's his with the hair dryer so really good results guys all right guys as you can see the finished product uh, we're gonna let it dry up a little bit more as you can see it brought the wrinkle out I gotta put a box uh, oil cap on it still got a little bit more spot to dry up so we're gonna leave it on uh, most likely tomorrow or Monday we'll, we'll install it so uh, we'll update you guys uh, when we install it. Like, subscribe, and please tell your friends. Muchas gracias.